Well, you've now seen how the adenosine and guanosine nucleotides are made, but we haven't learned about how that balance that I said that was so important occurs. That'll be the subject of what I'm talking about on this slide. Regulation, as I said, of the synthesis of all the nucleotides is important because if it's not balanced properly, mutation will result. So along the way, as I've described this, I've mentioned four different enzymes involved in catalyzing intermediates in purine synthesis and how they were important regula uh, for, from a regulatory uh, perspective. So let's look at those individually and the things that, that uh, affect their activity. The first of those enzymes was PRPP synthetase. That catalyzed the very first reaction. And I said that that reaction, or that enzyme catalyzing that reaction, was really determining whether or not the entire pathway occurred. Because if you stop the first enzyme, none of the other reactions after that will occur. Well, this enzyme is actually inhibited by high concentrations of phosphate and ADP. Why is that important? Well, ADP in high concentrations indicates that the cell does not have a lot of energy. Why are cells making nucleotides? Well, they may be making nucleotides to divide, for example. And if a cell doesn't have enough energy, it should not be committing itself to a process of cell division. So having a low energy indicator stop this overall process is important. The second enzyme that is important from a regulatory perspective is the one that catalyzes the very second reaction. This is PRPP amidotransferase, and the regulation here is really interesting. Now I'm going to show a schematic in a minute that will hopefully help to clarify this. But suffice it to say that this enzyme is partly inhibited by AMP or GMP, but it's fully inhibited by both when both are present. So one will slow it down, either one will slow it down, but both are necessary to completely turn it off. The third enzyme is the one involved in the uh, synthesis of making the guanosine nucleotides. That was the pathway that went upwards. This enzyme is inhibited by GMP, a product of the reaction, that is the guanosine nucleotide, inhibits the enzyme. Well, this makes sense. If you have too much guanine nucleotides, then you want to turn off that synthetic pathway. And you turn it off at the branch point. So the branch has been inhibited for uh, reaction by one of the products, in this case, GMP. The enzyme catalyzing the reaction in the direction of the adenosine nucleotides, adenylosuccinate synthetase, is inhibited by, you could probably guess it, the end product here, AMP. Now, so we start to see that there's important balance that's happening between the relative amounts of the guanine nucleotides and the adenine nucleotides. Now, let's go back and step back out and look at that pathway from the perspective I gave you originally and see how this plays out. The PRPP amidotransferase, I said, was fully inhibited by AMP and GMP, but it was only partially inhibited by either one. Why is that important? Well, if the cell has abundant AMP and GMP, there's no reason to run this pathway. So if they're both present in, in high quantities, they will shut off the enzyme. But let's imagine the cell has a lot of AMP, but not a lot of GMP. That wouldn't make sense to completely turn the enzyme off because the cell would not have no way of making GMP. So if that's the case, then you want to leave the enzyme at least partly active. And you want to shut off synthesis of the AMP, but not the GMP side, right? So we have a lot of AMP. We shut off this pathway on the left because that pathway on the left is fully inhibited by AMP. And if there's no GMP, the other side will not be inhibited. Only when the other side has plenty of GMP will the other side of the pathway be inhibited. Similarly, if we had a lot of GMP and very little AMP, then the left pathway would be favored and the right pathway would be inhibited. So we see this intricate uh, system of regulation is designed at balancing the amounts of AMP and GMP very, very carefully.